Hey there everybody, Mental Fox here with another checking in video where I spend a few minutes to talk to you guys about what's been going on with my channel and what's coming up on my channel. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is uh, my little April Fool's video that I posted on uh, April Fool's Day, the uh, Let's Play of E.T. the Extraterrestrial for the Atari 2600. Um, quite a few people watched that. I was kind of excited about it. I doubt very many people watched the whole thing. It was a pretty long video, but uh, it did get a lot of views and uh, that was exciting for me to see. I initially thought it would be funny as an April Fool's uh, joke to uh, just go ahead and post my normal uh, 9 a.m. Uh, Witcher 3 video, but instead of it being a Witcher 3 video, it would actually be the E.T. video. I thought that'd be kind of funny, you know, if, you know, you kind of signed in and sat down to watch The Witcher 3 and instead it was something like E.T. But then I thought that might be a little bit mean. So I just went ahead and posted the E.T. video on its own. I had a lot of fun doing that. Um, it's a game that uh, is kind of uh, notorious. Uh, it, you know, it gets uh, blamed for uh, causing the great video game crash of 1983 and is often called the worst game of all time. Uh, so I wanted to give it a fair shake. And um, I realized that I didn't really leave my impressions of the game after playing it. Uh, if you watched the video, then you know that I found it very frustrating and unfair even. But uh, I still didn't really think it was that terrible. I, I have played much worse games than that, and I'm aware of much worse games than that. Uh, overall, uh, I find myself thinking of the game and wanting to go back and try it again just to see if I could beat it. Uh, so I think that's the sign of a fairly decent game. So that's just my quick synopsis and impression of the game. Um, but I also wanted to ask you guys what you guys thought about that. Would you like to see more classic content on my channel? I have quite a collection of uh, classic and vintage video game consoles and video games. And I uh, would like to play those games, but I really don't have time to do it. But if I played those games as part of uh, content for my channel, well then, you know, I would be making time and also providing content at the same time. So uh, that's not exactly what my channel's been about so far, so I'm not sure what you guys would think about it. So uh, just kind of give me your impressions, what you think about it. It's um, something I might do anyway, um, but just, you know, just let me know what you think about it and uh, give me your thoughts on that. That was kind of the same thing I said in two different sentences. <laughs> anyway, the next thing I wanted to talk about is something that something weird that happened recently with my channel. Uh, you may know that I have a Twitter account and for my channel and really the only thing I do with it is I just post uh, tweets where I say, hey, you know, new episodes of this uh, Let's Play are up on my uh, channel. Um, you know, that way, I guess, if you want to be notified pretty much pretty much instantly when I post something, Twitter is a good thing for you to subscribe to. I don't really use Twitter myself. And to be quite honest with you, I don't really understand it. Um, but I know a lot of people use it, so that's why I have uh, Twitter. Well, somebody left me a tweet uh, last week, and it says this. Uh, it says, please watch this vid. You might want to file a copyright strike. I thought that was kind of strange. Nobody really ever leaves me messages on my Twitter. It's usually just people saying that they liked videos or they retweet me, which is cool. But this guy actually said to watch a vid. So I watched this vid, and in this vid, this guy talked about uh, a freebooter. And I'd never actually heard that term before. But apparently a freebooter is somebody who takes other people's videos and posts them on his YouTube channel as his own. And this happened to me. Somebody took over 200 of my uh, Witcher 3 videos and uploaded them to his channel and even copied my descriptions but went through the trouble of cutting out the links in my descriptions and then posted them on his channel as if they were his own videos. It just, it just blows my mind that somebody would do that. I, Although I must admit there is a part of me that's a little bit flattered <laughs> that somebody would want to take my own videos as their own. But uh, come on, dude, that's not your work. That's my work. Um, I, you know, I put a lot of work into this and, uh, you know, I do it to share with you guys and also hopefully to get views and, you know, maybe get a little bit of income from advertising. But somebody taking my work and putting it on their channel, well, 
they're going to steal my views. And well, let's face it, that's just not fair. That's a load of crap. So um, I reported his channel uh, and it was kind of weird. I don't know if you've ever done that before, but I reported his channel and the options were kind of weird to choose. Uh, like, so I ended up choosing that he was impersonating me. You know, I mean, he's posting my videos with my voice. Um, and YouTube said, oh, we investigated it and we found nothing wrong. <laughs> it's like, okay, I don't really think you investigated it because <laughs> it's the exact same videos. Uh, so now I think what I need to do is go through and report each video individually. And I'm hoping I won't have to report all 200 of them. I'm hoping that once I've reported a few of them that uh, YouTube will finally be like, all right, that's enough strikes against you. We're going to take your channel away. Because he also has other people's videos on his channel that don't belong to him. Just a few other like programming videos that he blatantly stole from somebody else and posted them on his own channel. So if you guys have any suggestions of a good way to go about uh, taking care of this kind of thing, or if you know of any cases where it's happened and um, the uh, owner of the videos was able to get the other guy's channel taken down, or at least the, his their videos taken off their channel, uh, I'd like to hear from you. So uh, it was just something kind of weird that happened that I wanted to share with you guys. Just the, man, you know, just one of those things that I never thought would happen you know, when starting a YouTube channel, I just, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. It's, uh, it's pretty sad that people would stoop to that kind of thing. All right, enough negative stuff. Let's talk about something positive or at least something positive for me. Um, I finished the Witcher three this weekend. I, I almost can't believe it's over. I have been playing that game. I checked since May 19th of 2015. So a little over 10 months it took me to finish that game. <laughs> I just, I can't believe it. But I only play three hours a week because uh, I only post three hours a week on my channel, you know, because I'm posting multiple games. So very excited to have finally finished that game. Uh, the final episodes will be posted this coming Wednesday on my channel. Um so the end of a very, very long journey there. Uh, I do have some DLC for that that I'll be playing at another date, but I will not be jumping into it right away. I'm going to take a little bit of a rest from uh, The Witcher 3, uh, partly because I just spent 10 months playing it, and also because there is a game coming out on April the 12th that I am very, very excited about. You guys probably know what it is already. It is Dark Souls 3. I love the Souls games. I love Demon Souls. I love Dark Souls. I love Dark Souls 2. I loved Bloodborne, except for the Chalice Dungeons. I didn't care much for those. I loved the Dark Souls DLC. The Dark Souls 2 DLCs, the Bloodborne DLC was excellent. Every, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, these guys can do no wrong. Dark Souls 3 is looking like it's going to be great. Very excited about it. It comes out on Tuesday the 12th. I am going to play it as soon as I can. Um, so I don't know if it's actually releasing like midnight the night before, or if it'll be released sometime on the 12th. I don't know, but as soon as I could play it, I'm going to play it and then I'm going to start posting it. And then I'm going to keep playing it. I don't want this to be like the Witcher three where I only play three hours a week and it takes me months and months to finish it. This is, this is like I just said, the souls games are my favorite. I want to dive into this game and I want to play it as much as I, as I can. Uh, hopefully my girlfriend will be understanding because I'm going to be playing a lot of it, but I'm going to have to ask you guys to be understanding too, because when I start into dark souls three, this is going to kind of turn into a dark souls three channel. I'm going to be posting dark souls three every day. As much as I can play, I'm also going to post. Unfortunately, that means some other things are going to fall by the wayside, temporarily. That means I'm not going to be able to post Fallout 3, three times a week like I'm doing now. Did I say Fallout 3? Fallout 4, three times a week like I'm doing now. It means I'm not going to be able to post Rise of the Tomb Raider three times a week like I'm doing now. I know that upset will upset some of you, and I'm, I'm really, really sorry about that. And those of you who are enjoying watching those games, I will try to get in a couple of hours of those a week and post them when I can. But like I said, when Dark Souls 3 comes out, it's going to be a Dark Souls 3 channel. So I hope you have a little bit of patience with me and understand that this is a game that I'm very excited about, very excited to play, and very excited to share with you guys. So I hope that those of you who are 
following Fallout 4 and uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider will be a little bit patient with me. So that's going to wrap it up for this edition of Checking In with Mental Fox. As always, I thank you for giving me a moment of your time to let you know what's happening on my channel. And I thank you for your interest. And I also thank you for your subscriptions, your likes, and your comments on my channel. I love getting comments from you guys. I read every single one of them. I don't get to respond to them as quickly as I would like. And sadly, sometimes time goes by and I'm unable to get to them. And I'm really, really sorry about that because it really does mean a lot to me that you guys leave me comments. And I really do try very hard to uh, respond to all those comments. But things have picked up at work lately and I don't have as much free time there as I used to to uh, respond. So I'm not ignoring you. I am reading your comments and I just ask you again to be a little bit patient with me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that I will see you again in another one of my Let's Plays soon. Take care, everybody.